in this lesson, we are going to look at compound inequalities, and you get two main types. You get ones where we have, um, we can think of it as the word or, and some teachers call that a disjunction. And then in the next lesson, we'll look at the ones where we talk about and, which some teachers call a conjunction. So this lesson will just be about the or, or disjunction. So here's how it works. They're going to give you an inequality, okay, like we've looked at in the previous lesson. Then they're going to say or, and then they're going to give you this one. So how do we do this? Well, what you're going to do is you are only going to focus on the first one, and you're just going to go solve that the way you normally would. Okay, so we're just going to go solve that normally. So we'll take the 6 over to the other side where it will become a negative, like that. And then you would just solve. And so there we have it. Now, from the previous lesson, you've got to remember how this all works. So what we'll do, if you want to try to describe this, you would say that n, now look at the sign over here. Remember, that is the lion. We said that that was like the lion's mouth. And if you look at the lion's mouth, it's eating, it's going to try eat the minus 3. So that means that the minus 3 is big. Because remember, the lion always tries to eat the bigger of them because it's hungry. So, we're, so the n is the smaller one because the lion is trying to eat the minus 3. So the n is the smaller one. So we'll say n is smaller than minus 3. So let's go fill that in on our number line. So n is smaller than minus 3. So we'll put an open circle. Remember in the previous lesson we said that um, when it's these types of symbols, we use an open, and when it's these types of symbols where there's a little line underneath or on top, then we use a um, closed circle. And then it says smaller, so smaller means we draw the arrow going to the left. Okay, now what we're going to go do is we're just going to go do this one over here. So that says that n plus 5 is bigger than 6. So if we're to solve, you would take this 5 over, so it would become minus 5. And so n is bigger than 1. So remember, I've just said it, but you must understand what this means. It means that n, and now the lion's mouth, is trying, it's facing the n. It's about to, this lion is about to eat. Uh, I know the lion thing's so childish, guys, but it does help. Um, well, I hope it does. <laughs> this lion is going to, trying to eat the n. Okay? So we can say n is bigger than 1 n is bigger than 1. So what we'll do is we'll go to the 1, and n is bigger. Bigger means to the right, and there we have it. So that is what the answer looks like. See how we have two of these? Okay, and that's absolutely fine when we are doing compound inequalities. Let's do some more. So here is the next one. So what we'll do is we'll just go solve the first one. So I'm just going to write it down. Okay, so we need to just get m by itself. So you need, we can take this minus 4 over to the other side. And so if we do that, we end up with minus 7 plus 4. And so m would be, um, and then minus 3. So m is smaller than minus 3. So I'm not going to talk about the lion thing the whole time now. You need to become, you, you, by now you guys should be quite comfortable. But what this should tell you is that m is smaller. Okay, you might have to pause and just think about this yourself, but it means that m is smaller than minus 3. So what we do is we go to the minus 3 with the open circle, because remember, it doesn't have the little line underneath, and then smaller than means to the left. So we go and we draw a line like that. Now we're going to solve this one. So 4m is bigger than 16. So all we do for this one is we just divide both sides by 4, and so m is bigger than 4. Okay, so we go to the 4, open circle, and we just draw a line going to the right because it says m. Let me write this down for you guys. This means that m, and make sure this makes sense to you. You may have to pause just to think about it, but it means that m is bigger than 4. Okay, here's our next one. So we're just going to go ahead and solve the first one. So it says that 6b is smaller than minus 36. So we'll just divide by 6 on both sides. And so the 6s would cancel, and so you'd end up with b is smaller than minus 6. So let me just write that down. b is smaller. You don't have to write this part in your tests at school. Uh, this is just me trying to show you what it means. And you must make sure that you agree with me. Okay, so we go to the minus 6, and it says that the b is smaller. So we do it like that. Now let's look at this one. So we say 6b is bigger than or equal to 30. So we divide both sides by 6. 
sorry, that is a B. And so what you'd end up with is B is bigger than or equal to 30 divided by 6 is 5. Okay, now this one says that B is bigger or equal to 5. So we go to the 5, which is here, and we do a solid circle now. Why? Because we said that it is bigger and equal. And then we draw an arrow going to the right-hand side. And here is our last example. So we're going to take this one over here, and it's just going to say v minus 2 is smaller than or equal to minus 8. Okay, so we're going to take the minus 2 over to the other side, where it will become a plus, like that. And so we end up with minus 8 plus 2, which is minus 6. Okay, so we go to the minus 6. Oh, let me first write out what this means. V is, now this is means smaller than or equal to minus 6. Okay, so at the minus 6, we're going to make a solid circle because it says smaller than and equal to. Okay, so we're going to use a solid circle. And then when it says smaller than, we know that that must go to the left-hand side. Okay, now we're going to do the next part, which is v minus 6 is bigger than or equal to negative 6. So we're just going to take this minus 6 over to the other side, where it ends up becoming a positive. And so we end up with minus 6 plus 6, which is 0. Okay, so what does this mean? It says that v is bigger. Remember, the lion's mouth is facing the v. So the lion, that, when that happens, it means the v is bigger than or equal to zero. So we go to the zero, which is here, and we make a solid circle. Why a solid circle? Because it's bigger than and equal to. And then they said v is bigger. So we draw it going that way. Because it says v is bigger than zero. So that means v will be numbers like one, two, three, things like that. All right. And so that is how we do I'm sorry, disjunctions or the questions that use or.